That shiny red thing that you see up there close to the moon is Mars. Mars is at a distance of 62 million kilometers from Earth. That's the closest that it will get in two years from now. And yeah, Mars is in opposition. And in this video, let's take a look at what opposition is and hopefully take a look at Mars using a telescope. So let's get started. Now is the best time to look up at Mars. It's the closest to Earth in like two years and also it's in the opposite side of that of the Sun. So it will be brighter and since it's closer, it will appear bigger through a telescope. When I got my telescope for the first time, I obviously looked up at the Moon and after that what I did was I turned my telescope towards Mars and looked at Mars through my telescope. Honestly, I was disappointed because what I saw was really nothing, simply a dot, a red dot. It was similar to what I could see using my eyes. Little did I know at that time that there was something called opposition and Mars would come closer to Earth, that I would get to see a more better view of Mars in the months that followed. But sadly at that time, I think it was in 2018, there was this global sandstorm going on Mars. So I couldn't see much of any detail on the planet, but I could see the planet and this is a picture that I took of Mars way back in 2018 using my telescope. Although it's a fairly desolate place that we are talking about, it's the only place in a solar system that's remotely similar to our Earth comparatively. So that's why we are having plans to go there by this decade hopefully. And interestingly enough, the first person to set foot on Mars is alive right now. He or she might be even watching this video. Okay, maybe not this video. The point is, we are going to Mars in this decade and, and that person is alive right now. That in itself is super exciting. For poor people like me, all that I can do is look up at Mars and wonder its place in the universe. So let's go stargazing. So I set my telescope up and there was clouds obviously but it was not a big deal because it was fast moving clouds and finally I could see some surface detail on Mars. I was super excited. I'll try to show you what I see but it will never show justice to what I can actually see through the eyepiece. So this is how it would look if you were here and looking through this eyepiece. Yeah, kind of. If you do a little bit of stacking here and there and a little bit of processing, I got this image of Mars. You can see a lot of surface detail. And you can even see the polar ice cap on Mars. So that's all guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. So until next time, this is me, Astra Amateur. Goodbye.